Hello, this is Jeff from Vocal Boost to Go, and today I want to talk about flutter echo. So what is flutter echo? Flutter echo is a rapid series of echoes that reflect from one wall to another, from parallel surfaces. Do 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 do, like that. You can hear flutter echo anywhere where you have hard reflective walls. For example, look how long flutter echo in this tunnel. That's a long echo. That's a very long echo. Uh, now, you can also hear flutter echo in gymnasiums, in hallways, anywhere where you have hard parallel reflective surfaces. For example, listen to this one. This is extremely echo. That sounds terrible. That's awful. But if Echo in a tunnel is a wonder. Echo in gymnasium or uh, hallways is just a nuisance. The flutter echo in your recording studio is a real problem. Why? Because the microphone will pick up those trailing reflections and it will overlap on the direct sound. So that will make your recording muddy and unclear. This is why it's very important to take care of those reflections. Now we're going to show you how easily you can get rid of flutter echo using producer choice acoustic blankets. Because we have these bare walls and actually you can hear what the flutter echo is if we do this. That sound, if you hear that, that's because the sound reflects from this one, that one goes back and forth and that's what the flutter echo is. It doesn't reflect from the ceiling anymore but it does reflect from the parallel walls. So now we covered the sides uh, on both sides of the microphone with the blankets on the flexi truck, and we're going to try to record again and see how it affects the flutter echo. So now we put this diagram side by side, and you can see that in the first case without the blankets, there is a big spike, that's where the clap is, and then there is a trailing sound waves. So that's the flutter echo. And when we introduce the acoustic blankets, you can see the same spike for the clap, but the flutter echo almost non-existent. So this is how effective producer choice blankets are in dealing with echo in your recording studio. So let's hear that again. That's a big difference. That's a huge, huge difference. So to control the flutter echo, uh, you need to surround the microphone and yourself with the blankets, put it all around the walls, and that will prevent the sound from bouncing off the walls. So if you cannot cover the whole room with acoustic blankets, uh, you can cover at least 30% of your reflective surfaces. And uh, to use the blankets more efficiently, just cover the walls so there are no parallel surfaces facing each other uh, in this intermediate fashion. So this way, when the sound goes up, it bounces off the wall and then it gets absorbed by the blanket. Or if it goes to the blanket first, then it gets absorbed and it doesn't bounce off the wall. So that cancels that flutter echo for you, even if you only partially cover your room. So this is it. Thank you for watching. And don't let the flutter echo make you fall flat on your face while you're recording. Please subscribe for more videos. A portable experience, feeling it for the lyricists it's all around the world. And you, all you need to do is step into the booth. Then you will see the truth. Then you will see the proof. Salute to the new studio that's on the go. Spit a couple bars in the hotel before you rock the show. Or 
You could be the new kid on the block, recorded from different locations instead of one spot. Boom.